Okay, so we have established a speaker. We have discussed the three E's that go along with that speaker. Let's talk about audience levels. Well, definitely, he's probably trying to address all those Americans, specifically the ones who are suffering. So we'll say suffering Americans. Also, this was a very heated race and campaign that he ran against the Republican candidate, uh, John McCain, and the country was very split. So he's probably talking to not just his supporters, but also the people who did not vote for him, okay? Who might have his critics, we'll call them, okay? Obama's own critics. And then, being the president, he can't do this job alone, right? He needs members of Congress to pass certain laws, um, and maybe even the Supreme Court um, and the justices who sit on the bench to kind of get his policies across. So he's probably also trying to address other government leaders. Now, what about the purpose? Well, it's an inaugural speech, so it's a genre of, of speeches just the way uh, a commencement speech might be or a eulogy. Well, whenever a president gives an inaugural speech or any person coming into a new job gives their uh, inaugural speech, they probably kind of want to lay out their plans for the future. Lay out plans for future. Maybe let uh, Americans or anybody in the audience who is listening to this person like reassure them that everything will be okay. Reassure that everything will be okay. And then, maybe another purpose behind the speech might be that um, he wants to know everybody in the audience that he is going to work for all of them. Regardless of whether you, Joe, out in the audience, or you, Mary, out in the audience, whether you all voted for him or not. Okay? Declare that... He will work hard for everyone. And the exigence? What might have provoked him to give this particular speech? I think that won't be fully clear until we read the actual speech. So, here we go.